So today we're going to cover the album cover, uh, The Machine Man. Uh, this is by Kraftwerk. Uh, they're a German brand. The brand, uh, the band genre is electric style music. You may be familiar by them by the robots or the model. The album was released uh, around uh, 1978, May. May 9th. The designer of this album cover was Karl Klefes. His German translation is Grinfurt Berlain. The design was inspired by the 1930s modest movement, especially Alensky's uh, designs. He's a Russian designer, also typographer, photography and architecture. Karl was strict with the red and black uh, colour scheme and had photography and design content on angles to create the robotic aspect uh, to reflect the theme of particular songs and to symbolise the band's uh, genre. Taking a look at the design element Unity, there are strong aspects to the design as it shows repetition in colours such as the band uh, they had the same colour clothing and uh, ties. Uh, they also positioned in slightly the same way with the same facial expression, giving them a sense of belonging um, as a group. Uh, as I said before, the, the ties, uh, they're also um, linking to the uh, designs um, of the typography. Uh, which brings them all together and forms a whole design. Forms, you know, forms a whole design. When looking at Jester, we can easily break the album apart, and we see proximity. We see this by the band members; they're in a group because of their color, the colors that they're wearing, um, and that brings them close. Uh, when we look at the top left hand corner we see the album and the band name they have the they share the same color schemes and because they're so close they uh give the um perspective that they're in a group too the space or negative space of the dining is well thought out as the members shirts are the same colour as the background design. Uh, so it's easy to read um, and gather information about the album and who, who the album is by. Um, if it was busy, um, it would be a different colour and it'd just be an information overload and be very hard to read. When you first see this album cover, all you see is red. It's very, very dominant. Uh, it's the focal point in this uh, design and you notice it straight away. You also notice that the band members are larger than the other design elements within the design. Uh, looking at the hierarchy, we see the band members first and then the album band, the album and the band name second and then the translation at the bottom left hand corner. The balance of the album cover is asymmetric. Most of the design elements are on the left hand side um, and especially the typography and band and the band members are on slightly to the right hand side. Um, as, a, as therefore the colour scheme, it's strictly red with a little bit of white. Uh, red is very dominant, as I said before in this design, and the black is complementary. And that is it. Thank you for listening.